team. Well, I'm so excited to see all of the new faces here, along with your recruiters in some cases. So welcome. Welcome to Park Lane. Welcome to Team Shine On. Um, as you may know, my name is Michelle Zito. I am your company vice president. Um, as I was just saying, I live on Long Island in New York. And I've been with Park Lane for eight years, and I've been in direct sales for 21 years. And my job is to help to train you and support you and to cheer you on so that you have a super successful business here at Park Lane. Um, if you care to be Facebook friends, feel free to shoot me a friend request from the team group, the um, Team Shine On Facebook group, and I am happy to accept that. I love getting to know everybody. Um, and I am so thrilled to welcome you to our team. Um, you should know that I generally do this call weekly. So on Tuesday nights, this is like the Groundhog's Day <laughs> training call. I do this exact same training call every single Tuesday night um, with few exceptions here and there. Um, but it's important that everybody on the team gets the same information, or at least everybody that chooses to participate in this training gets the same information. And it's good for you to know because that means that when someone joins joins your team, you'll just know that they'll participate in this exact same training. And that can take place as soon as tomorrow, theoretically, right? Somebody could share with you tomorrow that they want to join your team. And you don't have to be worried about, oh, geez, I don't know what to do, or I wouldn't know how to train you, because that is not even close to being your job yet. You are still new. And it is my job and uh, the, the recruiter perhaps your recruiter, if some of you have a leader or two in between like you and me, some of you are more direct to me. So it, it you know, it depends on who that is, but, um, you know, someone is helping you in your launches and recruiting efforts and everything else. So on tonight's um, orientation tonight, we're gonna be focusing on a couple of different things. We're gonna focus on the Rich Rewards program so that you know how to earn all the free jewelry to add to your kit, which is of course a big fun perk of being a stylist here at Park Lane. Um, and we're going to introduce your family and friends I'm um, talking about how to introduce your family and friends to Park Lane, which includes having a fun and successful launch party. I know that some of you have already done your launch party. That is okay. There are tons of tips that you will use at all of your upcoming parties, as well as you might even end up doing a second launch party in many cases. So you'll be able to apply things from that as well. So <clears throat> I'll be sharing with you words that work. I'll be showing you, you where some of these scripts are so that you're not, you know, wasting time looking for things and um, that, you know, will make it super easy for you. So now I just want to go over quick who is here on the call. I'm so glad that most of you have your cameras on and everything. So um, Ash. That's what your screen says. So um, tell me who you are, who you joined with, and where you live. Um, I'm Ashley Butler. I joined under Amanda Hawkins. Okay, great. <laughs> um, and I'm from Southside, Virginia. Okay, and where is that in relation to Richmond, where where um, Amanda is? Um, about 45 minutes. Great. Great. Well, we are super thrilled to have you. I actually just helped Amanda today do the info in, and I think you were like right there. <laughs> so wonderful. Welcome to the team. That's fantastic. Okay, Carolyn. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, okay. Now I did um, see in the, you know, on the computer today, you joined with Tiffany, right? Okay, great. So welcome to the team. Your green screen, I think you have is very cool. That looks very nice. Um, Christy. Hi, I am Christy Bender and I joined under Sylvia E. I never say her last name because I never get it right. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so and, sad. Yes. <laughs> I, I had to t remind myself that like the main part is say, like that's <laughs> the emphasized portion so that it's L uh -huh. say it. Um, <laughs> and our upline says it wrong all the time. So I have to always, like, I'm glad I learned how to say it right before I've listened to Mary Grace say it wrong so many times. <laughs> but sorry, go ahead. And I'm from Pittsburgh, PA. Great. So you live near Sylvia then? Yeah, we're only about 15, 20 minutes apart. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Welcome to the team. I've seen your name and lots of of our big team events. So I was so thrilled when um, I saw that you were joining. I said, I, I that's a familiar name. So that's very wonderful. excited to join. That's great. OK, Patty. I'm Patty Schmidt. I signed under Lisa Scott, I think is how you say it. Oh, Lisa Schott. Okay. Okay. Um, I live in San Antonio, but I'm from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh, okay. Wow. That's like a big move. Yeah. Military. Okay. Okay. What branch? My husband was in the Air Force. He retired a few years back. So we stayed here because we already had jobs. So my brother is an F-16 pilot in the Air Force. Nice. Yeah, so that's great. Well, thank him for his service and yours. And uh, now you went from somewhere super cold to somewhere super hot. <laughs> I'd rather be super cold. <laughs> San Antonio's really hot. Oh my yeah. gosh. You can only take so much clothes off and not get arrested. <laughs> not that I've had that happen to me, mind you, but you know. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Well, welcome. That's fantastic. All Thank right. You. And Wilhelmina. There we go. Hey, guys, I'm Wilhelmina. How is everyone? Nice to see you. Very nice to be seen. I am with the fabulous uh Phyllis Cumberland does thing right. and uh, I just came in I think last week I haven't even gotten my kit I'm excited about I got an email I'm going to be getting it on Thursday great and I'm really excited I'm so excited I got two guests for the conference for the convention and um I'm ready to go that's wonderful Phyllis said that you've been a VIP of hers right yes yes, yes. <laughs> great and do you, do you live in DC as well I do I'm in Washington DC on Capitol Hill oh my goodness you girls have such wonderful you know like Phyllis can like pretty much see the White House from her from her house I think such a cool and, and, I, can walk, and I can walk right to the Capitol amazing <laughs> Amazing. Well, welcome. We're so thrilled to have you. Happy to be here. Good. My well, light just went out on me. My ring light just went out on me. So I'm going to have to order oh. another one as soon as we get off this line. <laughs> well, they come, they come pretty quick on Amazon. Yes. And actually, your lighting is still pretty good regardless. So you must have good lighting in the room no matter what. I just, thank you so much. Good. All right. Well, um, so Park Lane knows, you know, they're super generous to us and they know that we all want more jewelry all the time. You know, Amanda has been with Park Lane. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip Amanda. I just knew she wasn't new. Um, but Amanda Hawkins started with us on the team in December and she's here supporting her new recruit, Ashley. So like Amanda's been here, I guess that makes it about six months now. I'm here eight years and she and I want just as much more free jewelry as you do. Like that's not anything that goes away ever. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's so amazing that we have the Rich Rewards program um, because Park Lane knows that you want more jewelry and that you need more jewelry all the time, not just when you're new. So um, this is, of course, in addition to the opportunity to earn a commission check every single week. So um, does that sound good, making a weekly paycheck and earning free jewelry? All right. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen for a moment so that we can take a look at the rich rewards program 
on the Park Lane website so that you know where it is and um, you know how uh, you could, you'll be able to track it. So when you sign into your Park Lane website, you usually end up on here first, which is your dashboard. Your dashboard shows you your sales so far that week. As you build a team, it's going to show you what the team has sold so far. And this Rich Rewards program that we're going to take a look at, this is even where you would redeem it. So the program I'm about to show you right now, um, so I actually could redeem level one right now. So just real quick, I'll show you that if I was to click this, it's showing me um, that I am, you know, I've more than earned it. So if I wanted to claim it, I'm going to click claim now. And all I have to do is put in the item number or search for the item number of whatever it is that I want. It looks just like pretty much an order form. It'll tally it up. The only reason it's asking for payment is that it will charge you sales tax if your um, state has sales tax and a $7 shipping charge. And then that jewelry basically shows up to your house. I find that for me, um, it's like $17 or whatever with tax and shipping. And then bam, free jewelry shows up at my house. So um, you'll see that you know, all the different levels are here. Now, the reason that I would not redeem this right now is that brand new jewelry is coming out next week, as you probably know. So of course I shall wait until next week and then I will redeem it for the new line jewelry as you will as well. So what we're going to take a look at right now is the field interface, which is really like you know, what maybe you'll also hear called like the back office. This is just where only stylists can see this stuff. So um, real quick, this is one of the areas on the of the Park Lane website that you will come to. The Style Boss News is the magazine that comes out on the first business day of each Park Lane month and let you know like what's happening. So you're all joining the business just in time to earn the next vacation, free vacation with Park Lane, the next incentive trip. So you joined um, right at the beginning and you are have the ability to earn a free vacation, same as me and everybody else. So that's exciting. Um, information about our convention, which I know that you just joined five seconds ago, but next week is the convention that has amazing training from all top performers throughout all of Park Lane. Um, you can get a package of jewelry included in your admission. Um, it's all virtual. So if you can participate live, you'll just log on to the Zoom at the time. And if you cannot, because you're already at work or what have you, then um, you'll get the replay. So it's definitely worth participating in. Here's the schedule. And um, it is going to be a fantastic, you know, event. Um, okay, so all kinds of fun stuff in here. All righty. So um, you can take a look at that at your convenience. All righty. So the other one, the one that you'll actually probably read even more frequently is the loop. The loop comes out every Thursday, sometime in the vicinity of lunchtime. And that is letting you know, like some, we often have, and some of you have been customers with us for a long time, where it seems like every Thursday, your stylist is like, new, oh my gosh, this is new with a, you know, these are 25 with a $40 purchase or a new color impression bracelet, all kinds of fun stuff. That's, this is, this weekly email is where we find that out. So the style boss um, for the, um, the loop, you get an email version of it, but if for any reason um, you just wanna read it at a time, not right then, or if you don't see it in your email, you can always come back and take a look at it here. But this will always show you what is new and current and happening immediately um, as of that week. So that's that. Now, what we need to look at is a brochure. So we're going to go over here to the downloads. And under brochures and booklets, you'll see that we have here the Rich Rewards Club brochure. So we're going to open this up. And this is a really great thing to make sure that you keep handy, whether you print one out and keep it handy, whether you store this somewhere um, 
you know, like store the PDF on one of your devices, but this is a really great resource because um, you always want to make sure that you know what you're earning so that you don't miss something by like $27, right? So let's take a look at um, the Rich Rewards program. So level one is submit personal sales of $1,000 net and non in the first two commission dates of a calendar month, and you're rewarded with $250 worth of jewelry of your choice. Now, before we even discuss the jewelry part, <laughs> we need to talk about all of this Park Lane jargon that is in this one phrase. Okay, so let's first take a look at submit personal uh, sales of $1,000 net and non, this N plus N here. Let's talk about that. So net and non are the two different parts of you're like your pay. Okay. So net sales are the portion of your sales that your paycheck actually reflects. So all of you that are stylists that are joining us as stylists, basic, you know, base level starting, you're getting 30% commission. So you will earn 30% of your net sales. Now, what are the net sales? You um, may have taken an order already, but if you haven't taken an order, I know that you all have placed an order. <laughs> so um, if you think about a customer order, you know how the sale is typically buy two pieces at regular price. Those two pieces are your lowest two pieces, right? You've done that before. The two regular price pieces are net sales. So you'll earn your percentage, you know, your 30% on that, the two lowest price pieces. Then you know how the next up to four pieces can be half price and those are any price at all. So now that's where somebody's getting a Serena bracelet, normally 72, they're getting it for 36. Somebody wanting a, um, Radley bracelet that's normally 50, they're getting it for 25. So that is also net sales. So you get paid your commission on the regular price items as well as the half price items. Now, you also know that the second part of the sale is that when the person's order total is $90 or more, meaning when if they just bought something that was 90 or with the, they add the low price pieces to the half price pieces, it comes out to at least 90. Then the customer gets a bonus item, right? And the bonus item is a piece of jewelry as high as $200. They can get that for $25. So now somebody wanting the Ashton bracelets that are normally 140 or whatever, these are going to be $25. Or somebody wanting an impression bracelet instead of being $182, it is $25. Those specials are non so that means non-commissionable. So that means that that per part of the purchase counts towards your contests, such as rich rewards, such as working towards your trip, such as if they threw in something extra, like if you sell a thousand in these two weeks, you're going to earn an upcoming color impression bracelet or something. Whatever's happening, net and non counts. So what you're going to notice is that the non-commissionable special is typically driven by, like the net sales are driven by people's desire to get the special because nobody wants to pay $182 for an impression bracelet, right? They want to pay $25 for it. They'll spend $80, uh, $90 in other purchases in order to get that for $25. So the $90 plus that they spend is your net. You're getting paid on the $25 on that bonus is none and you're getting your contest credit. Um, the same would be true. You know how we just came out with those candy bracelets, those colorful bracelets, and then those earrings that go with them and stuff. Those bracelets are $25 with a $40 purchase. Whenever we have a special color impression bracelet, remember when we briefly had the grape impression bracelet, right? These were $30 with a $40 purchase. Well, the $40 that the people need to spend is net. And then the 30 or the 25 or the 15, whatever the special is, is none. 
And this is always super exciting because just when you think, oh, people are probably done shopping with me now, all of a sudden you open up your computer, there's this amazing bracelet set, matching earrings, and a whole bunch of people who just shopped with you are looking for something to buy for $40 so that they can purchase those bracelets. And it's such a gift. So that is how you break down net and none. On the hostess order, same thing where um, her $25 special is non. If she purchases anything at half price using her half price choices, those are net. Any questions on net and non? So that would include the style drops then? Style drops, the item itself is non. Non. The purchase they need to make in order to get it is net. net. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I always make sure we go over this because it's important to know how you're getting paid, right? Um, okay, so then let's talk about this other like jargony spot. The first two commission dates of a calendar month. That's kind of like worded strangely. So Park Lane's pay weeks, okay? You, you need to know that you are getting paid from Thursday to Wednesday of any given week. So the pay week runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday by midnight. It's actually midnight all time zones. So like for me, month, the week ends at three o'clock in the morning because I'm Eastern because it ends at midnight Pacific. So whatever, if you get an extra hour or two or three out of that, then <laughs> bonus for you. And it looks like a whole bunch of you are on Eastern time. Um, so that is, that's part one to know. So that means in order to know when the month started, you need to know when the previous month ended, right? So if you have a, your phone or something handy, um, just take a look at any calendar that you have. <laughs> so I usually just look on my phone. So the last Wednesday in June did happen to actually be the last day of June. This hardly ever happens. But June 30th was a Wednesday. So that means that week one of July is July 1st to the 7th. That's pay week number one. July 8th to the 14th is pay week number two. The 15th to the 21st is pay, is pay week three. And the 22nd to the 28th is pay week four. And in Park Lane world, July is over on July 28th. So if you submit a show on July 29th, 30th or 31st, even if it was held earlier, you know, even if it was held on July 24th, if it doesn't go in until July 29, 30 or 31, that will count as an August show. All right, so um, that means now that looking at this, that when you submit a thousand net and non in the first two weeks of the month, you're rewarded with $250 worth of jewelry of your choice. In the case of July, everybody who puts in 1,000 from July 1st to the 14th gets to pick out $250 worth of jewelry. It hardly ever works out like that. You just got gifted with an easy one as your first month. <laughs> <laughs> because if you look, so like August, in order to earn Rich Rewards Level 1, it'll be what you put in from July 29th to August 11th as the first two weeks, for example. So I know that some of you like just had your launch and are going to be earning this, which is super awesome. So if you your show went in already this week or it's going in tonight, tomorrow, Anytime before July 14th, you are going to be rewarded with that $250 shopping spree. When you redeem your Rich Rewards jewelry, um, you'll be following the same guidelines that you did uh, when you chose your kit. So, um, and that will, of course, update again after the new line comes out. So whatever guidelines they decide on those pieces, we'll be following that for our Rich Rewards. Um, any questions on anything from this very lengthy little section? I promise it doesn't take this long to explain every rich rewards level. <laughs> so if you 
don't hit level one, are you then not able to hit any of the additional levels? Not at all. You okay. can. You can absolutely go on to earn other levels. So level one, they're just kind of giving you an extra like push to do, um, you know, to like get those sales in early in the month because it makes it so much easier for you to go on to earning these other levels. But, you know, let's say somebody didn't even work here the first two weeks or you just maybe you were on a very long vacation or whatever, you can absolutely go on to earn those additional levels. In fact, um, one more thing that is non but amazing helping you with your rich rewards is the sparkle box. So are some of you ladies already sparkle box subscribers? The monthly? Okay, so you know Park Lane has this monthly subscription service. It is amazing. It's goes out, you know, on the first of the month, every one's credit card gets charged. And then a few days later, it shows up at your house. Mine came today. And um, there's two versions of Sparklebox. You can have a standard subscription for $24 a month, or people can have a um, premium subscription, which is $39 a month, which is of course fantastic because, um, you know, for only $15 more to get the two coordinating pieces is, is awesome. So huge score this month. This is so different than any other sparkle box. Standard subscribers get this massive package of earrings. So how fun is this? All different colors of pearls, little crystals, little beads, little everything. People with 4 billion earring holes are like loving this right now. And then those that get the premium are adding in this freshwater pearl bracelet. It's funny, this bracelet is like a cross between the McKenna bracelet and the um, Atlantic bracelet because it has the ball with the crystals on it like the Atlantic bracelet has, but it's a stretchy freshwater pearl bracelet. And that's added only $15 onto the cost. So the best news of all is that, of course, we all subscribe to it from ourselves because how awesome is that, right? But the sparkle boxes run on the first of the month. So fun fact, if you have about 25 to 30 subscribers, you will earn your rich rewards level one the day they run the sparkle boxes because that works out to be about $1,000. That was my goal. When they came out with these, I was so excited. I said, I want to earn my rich rewards level one just from sparkle boxes. So with a combination of premium and standards, mostly premiums though, because for 15 bucks, I feel like, you know, you might as well get the premium. Um, you'll be right at about a thousand. So if you haven't, if you are all signed up and have, and don't have a sparkle box, all you have to do is go to your own website on the left or the top, depending what device you're on, you'll just click order sparkle box and subscribe from your own self. Um, this is what people will receive all month long when they join. So if you subscribe today, this will go out right away to you. If you go and start selling this to friends and family, I always, you know, what I always say when I show my sparkle boxes is if you love this, then today's the day to start your subscription because you're going to start with something you know you love. And um, then moving forward on the first of the month, their card will run again. Um, people can cancel at any time. It does charge one more month because they purchase the next month's jewelry based on a minimum of how many are already subscribed for this month. So if somebody was to cancel, let's say in September, they would still be charged for and receive October and then that would be it. So it is a wonderful program and gives you a big jump on your rich rewards. Questions on Sparklebox? All right, then we can finally move on to our other levels here. All right, so let's take a look at the remaining levels. Level two is 2,500 for the month. 
and you will receive that month's ensemble of the month. That's just, they let us know, they tell us right in that um, publication I showed you earlier, the Style Boss News, it shows you that month. It shows up completely free at your house, no sales tax, no, no, no nothing, no shipping. It just all of a sudden one day is there. They'll let us know when it's released. They tell us how much it costs. And now you have yet another beautiful piece that has updated your kit and gotten your customers excited to see something new that you paid zero dollars for. So a month or two ago, for example, we earned this one, the Dakota, which is an absolutely stunning piece. These come apart so you could wear it with just the one strand, two strands, or both. And um, it is, I mean, it's going to be such a big hit. So I paid zero dollars for that because we earned it in rich rewards. Um, okay, level three is when you, for the whole month, put in 4,000, then you get to pick out another $300 worth of jewelry. So super amazing because that means that added all up, that's 550 in jewelry that you got to choose plus the value of the ensemble as the max for what you could achieve just in your personal sales. When we go on to team building in a month where you have two recruits that join your team, go on to qualify with their thousand in their first five weeks, you get to pick out another 300. And in a month that you have four, that's an additional 300 for a total of an additional $600 worth of jewelry for your team building. Pretty amazing, right? So with that, um, let's, let's get like mobilized here, right? So let's jot down some numbers. Okay, first write down 12 to 15 average orders. 12 to 15 average orders. Then write down $1,000 in sales. $1,000 in sales. Then write down $300 in commission. $300 in commission. So what do all these numbers mean? I'm quite sure you figured it out. But when you collect 12 to 15 orders on your launch party, for that matter, any party that you do, and I know that you and all of your hostesses know 12 to 15 people with a neck, right? <laughs> so when there are 12 to 15 orders on your party, you can expect that you're gonna have at least $1,000 worth of customer orders, and that's gonna help you earn about a $300 check. Does that sound good? Especially since in many cases, it's taking place in the chair that you're sitting in right now, right? I feel like that's like beyond amazing that I've been sitting right here where you see me right now doing shows for the last 17 months. <laughs> I have left the house one time with my jewelry in 17 months. Just unbelievable. People are starting to want the in-person parties now in some cases, um, but still very, very much majority online. And some people were online before this even happened. So um, having a successful launch show that your leader is probably doing with you or for you um, is important to starting your business off strong and making sure that you have business beyond your family and friends. So there are three steps that are going to make your launch party a success. So let's talk about those. Step one is to have to consider actually doing two launch parties and to be very inclusive in the inviting to those parties. So consider doing two launch shows that you're gonna do a lot of nice inviting for. Step two is to invite using multiple methods and to use the right words, which we're gonna talk about, of course. It's thundering again. And step three is to fill your calendar with a whole bunch of parties so that you get practice, you get comfortable, and you earn some rich rewards. 
Okay, so let's talk about these steps. Step one, considering doing that second launch show, over inviting. Um, the thing that's great about doing the two launch parties is a couple of things. Number one is that it really gives you the opportunity to double and triple dip. Because remember, your launch party, you get to be the hostess and the stylist, right? Meaning that you are getting the hostess benefits on that party. So you want to be the best hostess you can for your own self. <laughs> when there are 10 orders on your launch party, you're getting double free credit because your kit really is a two-part operation, right? Your kit is the 500 that you picked for your $99 but it's also the 500 plus that you're getting in hostess benefits. So that when this is all over, you have way more than a thousand dollars worth of jewelry to show at your shows. So when you do two launch parties, but put them both on the same link and do them close in proximity to each other, that means that all those orders are going on one big Jagunza party. And when you have 11 orders, you're getting $440 in free jewelry and 12 is 480. It doesn't like stop at the 400 for the double credit. So we love that. It also um, kind of makes sure you're not getting any no's, right? Because if someone says, oh, I can't come on Friday night, Mikey always has basketball. No problem. I'm also having a brunch on Sunday. I hope that you could join me for that. You know, <laughs> so there's always that like backup one. And it allows people to see the different like time slots that are available. So for example, I do shows on Sunday nights and weeknights um, in the virtual world anyway. Um, I find that Sunday nights is great for social media as well as weeknights, especially in the summer. So when someone wants to have a show, I ask them, do you want a Sunday night or a weeknight? And they choose from there. So when do, if you're, if you have two different things, like maybe you're only doing shows on weekends because your weeknights are very busy, um, but you're going to be offering shows during the day and in the evening, let's say you're doing that, then you could be doing a show on Saturday at three and on um, Saturday at seven, and they're choosing from the day slot or the night slot. So, you know, a lot of those different, a lot of different things can work for you that way. For in-person, it's always imp important to be over-inviting because of only about, at best half of who are invited actually make it into the living room that day. So always you and your hostess want to be over-inviting to any in-person. When you're doing online, it is super important that the invitations are not simply clicking the invite button from that Facebook group and just randomly adding everybody on your Facebook friends list. It's not special. It doesn't make people want to answer it. And Facebook will put you in Facebook jail as like a spammer because of adding too many people. They'll, they'll put a freeze on how many you can invite in one day that way. So for those, you're sending like a private message. I'm so excited. I started a business with Park Lane Jewelry. I would love to have you participate in my online um, show launch. My leader's showing a great jewelry demo. Um, it's on Sunday night at seven. Would you like to be added to the group? And when they say yes, you send them the link to the group and off they go. If they say, oh, I'm not sure I can be on the live, then say, no problem. There'll totally be a replay. I would still love for you to be in the group and see, you know, the posts and, and let me know what pieces you like the best. Um, you're always wanting people's opinion on the jewelry so that you know what to put into your kits. That's like your bottom line, you know, specific reason why you want, I would love for you to be there because you know how you're the fashionista of the group, or you know how you, you know, you always look so nice. You're always well accessorized. You know what's cool, whatever. And I would love to get your opinion on the jewelry so that I know what pieces to put in my kit. People love to give their opinion, right? This is like people's greatest dream come true to be asked for their opinion because they're going to give it anyway. So when you ask for it, it's even more successful. I mean, 
Yelp wouldn't even be a thing if people didn't feel the need to pontificate their opinions, right? <laughs> so um, if you're doing in-person, always, always invite the neighbors. They can see you're having a party. Don't exclude people. They're the easiest guests. They walk across the street, they drink a margarita in your backyard and they walk right back home having bought you know a nice amount of jewelry. So, um, and encourage everyone to bring a friend. The bring a friend is the best guest at any given party. The reason being is that if you told somebody, if somebody told you, feel free to bring a friend to whatever party they were hosting, you would think about who do I know that likes whatever the product is, right? So if I was going to, you know, like a, a cooking tools party, I would call my friend Claudine to come with me because she's a great cook and she likes kitchen stuff. But I would not call her for the jewelry party. I would call my friend Janine to go to a jewelry party. So those bring a friend people have no like, it's not like they came because it's like, oh God, she came to all my parties. I have to go to hers. There's no obligation at all. And one of my greatest customers since the day I started was when I invited my neighbor, Pam, at the last minute. She, on the day of the party, asked if it was okay if she could bring her aunt and her sister. Her sister has spent thousands of dollars with me over the eight years. And since then, the aunt has hosted, they brought in the mom, the mom has hosted, They've all been to every kind of Park Lane event there is. They've just been an unbelievable um, assortment of customers. And it all came from inviting my neighbor at the bus stop at the last minute before my launch party. <laughs> so, you know, the invite a neighbor and bring a friend can be very, very clutch. Um, and then, of course, even when your per party is in person, you're probably doing an online element to it as well. And now you're not restricted anymore. Your college roommate lives in upstate New York. She gets an invitation. Your mother-in-law lives in Boca. She gets an invitation. Everybody can participate. We're no longer limited by geography, which is amazing. Okay, so um, quick question. Who would like a 5% raise on your commission? Does that sound good? <laughs> Isn't it amazing that even brand new, you could potentially get a raise? So I want to make sure that you know this right away, right now, while you're new. Because when one person joins you in this business, and I'm going to tell you right now that starting with a friend or a family member, statistically, both people do better when that's the case. So... When um, one person joins you in the business, you can get this raise. The way that it works, if you want to jot it down, is step one of getting this raise is that you have had a Park Lane month that you sell 1,000 net and not. So that, that's in your pocket. So it can be the month that this is all happening. It can be this month and maybe then all of a sudden you find your recruit next month. At least you'll have checked off that box. But when that person... So you've done a month where you sold a thousand. Then in the month that your new team member starts, if it's not the same month that you've done your thousand, you need to be active with your 300, but that person needs to sell their 1000 in their first five weeks. However, we don't really like ever recommend it taking five weeks for somebody to put a thousand dollars in sales in. When I did Amanda's launch, her launch went in at way over $1,000 in sales. She's about to put Christie's party in. It's already at $1,000 in sales because we want both of you to be ready to promote, right? When, if Christie's launch goes in at $1,000, she's already checked off the box for her to promote to branch, right? And get that 5% raise. So, and Amanda's been ready, you know, was ready plenty of time to, to have had that thousand. So we really encourage all launch parties to just go in at a thousand. That way the recruiter can promote right away. That way that the new person is ready to, to get their promotion when the time comes. And we don't have to worry about was the sales component met. 
That's the least thing that we want to worry about. Okay. So, um, you know, Christy, um, I mean, Ashley, I, I said Christy when I meant Ashley is actually Amanda's recruit, but Ashley um, did her launch party like at the mega party. So a lot of times, like if, if Amanda's recruit had been somebody like had been a separate party and if Amanda wasn't like already awesome at doing shows and stuff I probably would have done that launch party but I already was doing it because it was at the mega party which was me anyway but like so if you have somebody who wants to promote like if somebody wants to join if Christy says to Sylvia oh my gosh I have somebody that I just booked and she wants to join we don't expect Christy to do that launch party. She's brand new. Sylvia is going to do that launch party. So that's how all of this works, that we support you through all of your recruiting efforts until you're ready to be doing these things on your own. And in case you're wondering, a $600 party as a stylist is a $180 paycheck. As a branch at 35%, it's a $210 paycheck. That adds up quick over the course of a month when you're doing a whole bunch of parties, right? That could be a couple of hundred dollars at the end of the month. So I'm super excited um, for all of you to, to earn those promotions. And, you know, it really is funny because people are going to ask you questions like, so Chrissy, how much did you have to spend in order to get started? Well, Amina, have you had to go to a ton of meetings? Carolyn, how much other money have you spent on your, on getting started? As much as you might be thinking that they actually like care about what you had to spend or what kind of time you're putting in, the real question they are asking is, Christy, how much money would I have to spend if I, if I started to do this? Well, Amina, how much time would I have to be putting into meetings? Carolyn, how much extra money would it cost me? So now that you know that fun fact, make sure that as you hear these conversations, you can just simply say, you know, I had a lot of these same types of questions and this job is so much fun. Would it be okay if my friends, and then fill in the blank. So would it be okay if my friend Michelle, would it be okay if my friend uh, Phyllis, would it be okay if my friend Sylvia, you know, whoever is helping you, gave you a call. She's the one answering all of my questions. I would love for her to answer yours as well. And then we get that person on the phone or on Facebook Messenger, whatever it is. We, our goal is to get a party booked with them that will be there, uh, hopefully turn into their launch party. And then you get the raise. That's the goal, helping you build. And that's how the whole, you know, that's how you make the big bucks here in direct sales. As the team builds, you're making money even on a night where you're work, watching American Idol and the other person is doing a show, right? That's how all of this building goes. So um, the second step, remember, with you know inviting using multiple methods, no group chats, girls. Don't send an invitation to 30 people in a group chat. No's come first. And now the whole rest of the group thinks no one's coming. So it's also just not special and super annoying. So every invitation individually sent to each guest that you want to invite. Um, you know, just like you can't simply make a Facebook group, send out an invitation and think that's enough. You know perfectly well, people have sent you invites on Facebook. You never saw it. You weren't on Facebook when it was sent. It's got to be you know, the Facebook invite and the text and the phone call and, uh, you know, th the people check different things. <laughs> you want to make sure you address each one, at least a couple. One form of invite, no matter what it is, is no good. Two to three minimum. Okay. Um, and filling up your calendar with that number of shows that you want to do. If you're not sure what number you want to do, try doing two shows a week for a couple of weeks. Because otherwise you're like the kid who learned how to ride a bike and then didn't get on the bike again for another two weeks and you keep falling off the bike because you forgot what you had to do in order to stay up. 
that's what's going to happen. You're going to make up, you know, you're going to do the show and then you're going to be like, okay, I forgot to say this. I forgot to do that. I'll do that next time. But if next time's not for three weeks, you're going to make the same mistakes again, plus more. When you do the two shows, close them out, two shows, close them out. You're getting a beautiful paycheck every week. You're getting in a groove. You're getting comfortable. You become better at the job. I'm always amazed by people who do three shows over the course of like a month and a half and then decide, you know what? It wasn't for me. I'm quitting. That's working three times. Can you imagine going, starting a new job and quitting on Wednesday <laughs> and deciding it wasn't for you? You don't know on Wednesday if it's for you yet, especially when doing a show is only like 30 minutes. That's actually like leaving before lunch and quitting on the first day of your job. So give yourself the chance to get good at it and to practice. Now, when people want a book, the easiest way to get them on the calendar is give them two choices at a time. So like I was saying before, okay, um, I do shows on Sunday nights and weeknights, which is better. Or I do shows on Saturday and Sundays. Would you prefer day or evening? So whatever works for you to give two choices right away. And if they're like, oh, weekdays are a little busy. Let me do the Sunday. Okay, great. I have Sunday the 7th and Sunday the 14th, which is better. See how I gave another two choices? Because now they're going to look at those two dates. It keeps people focused. You know, doesn't, I feel like even when you make appointments, this is how they do it, right? Do you want to come in in the morning or in the afternoon? And you're like, oh, um, I, I can get out of work early if you can give me an afternoon. And they're like, okay, we have Tuesday the 10th and Tuesday the 17th. And then you pick one of those two. One of the biggest reasons people don't book a show is that they can't make a decision. So when you give them little decisions at a time, they're on the calendar. And 99% of the time they pick from what you've chosen. Um, keep in mind as well, if you're doing online shows, you can put two hostesses in the same show and just provide shopping links separately. Or you can do two separate shows in the same night. So you can do someone's party at seven and someone else's party at eight. That means you blow dry your hair once, you put makeup on once, you sit down with your jewelry, you do your seven o'clock show by around 7.40 or so, that one's over. You rearrange the jewelry, you take your necklace off from, go back to the first one you had on. By, you go to the bathroom, you take a drink of water, you sit back down, it's Groundhog's Day, eight o'clock, you do the next party. And now the rest of the evening, the orders are rolling in. You take orders for the next couple of days. By Wednesday, you close it. You have a paycheck coming and now you're on to the next week's parties. It's pretty nice, right? So- Question, Michelle. Yes. Yeah, on the online shows, how are we collecting the orders? Oh, what you'll be doing is, um, and we have all the training videos for this, you're going to make a shopping cart with the items that people want. So what we tell people during the show is um, you're going to send me a wish list. You can call me with your wish list. You can send it to me in Facebook Messenger. You can um, text it to me. And now people send their list of their favorite items. We, for, for, you know, we open the party link. We put the items in of, um, you know, that they want in the right you know, what should be the low, what should be the half, what should be the bonus item. And then we send them a link to their shopping cart and we say, okay, Sue, here's your order so far. Take a look. They might want to add, they might want to take something off. They might need, they might need to pick something else low in order to do the specials better. But when Phyllis does your launch with you, she will show you this whole process. And we have a video of even how to do the carts and send them and everything. That's what you're going to find now, girls, is that in the team um, Shine On group, in the guides, the very first guide is called your first 90 days in business. Mm -hmm. And all the trainings that you need are in that first section for them really getting started so that you don't have to be looking all over and you don't have to be stressed about, because I feel like the worst thing in the world is when you need to do something on the computer and you're on the phone and the person is like, okay, see on the left, click there. Do you see that button on the left and you don't see it? And now you're like sweating and you feel like 
it's just too stressful. That's why we do everything on a video so that you can sit at the computer, but then play the video on your phone and pause it and like, you know, do what you got to do. So, you know how you've been Netflix bins watching all kinds of things during the quarantine. This is your new Netflix, <laughs> the guides of the first 90 days, even maybe some of the how to's there's a whole bunch of super helpful things. Um, and just keep in mind, please don't take any no's personally. I know that it can be very like disappointing when you're reached starting out and you ask your sister and she says no, or you, your best friend says no. And you're like, what? you know, I bought things at all the different parties you had. You, like you, you just want to like, you're getting very indignant with people. Just keep in mind that we offer a service. Some people are super into it. Some people are not. It's a big world. Um, and also that not, not, no, doesn't necessarily mean not, not ever. Sometimes it just means not right now. And you said, you know, do you want to have a show in July? And they said, no, but really what they meant was I'm under construction or I can't, I'm going on vacation, blah, 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 but I could do it in August. If someone wants to book August, book them in August, pencil them in for a date. Somebody wants to book September, somebody wants to book October. I will pencil people in for December 10th right now if they wanted, because when I turn the calendar and see that surprise booking sitting there, it's a very happy day. Obviously you want them booking sooner, but if they absolutely can't, but had in mind of a further out date, do not hesitate to pencil that in. You always confirm it when it gets closer. So does anyone have a question on anything that we spoke about or didn't? Well, what's going to happen? How does your oh, sorry, personal go website work? Sorry, go ahead, Christy. How does your personal website work? Like I didn't have my launch party yet. So does that all happen after you have your first launch party? It does, because when you do your launch party, your party is still technically sitting on the computer of your recruiter. So right now, Ashley's launch party is still sitting on Amanda's computer and yours will be on Sylvia's. And that way she can do the orders with people with the carts and help you like help teach you how to do it and stuff. And then we do the sign up on the screen from your party so that then when all your information is in with your social security number and your birthday and your bank information to set up your direct deposit and everything, when we hit send on the party, it magically disappears from the recruiter's computer and magically appears on yours. So you'll learn about how to use the website through Sylvia during your launch party. And then at that point, you'll have your own website and then you'll be really able to play around with it using the training videos once your launch party is in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And you're gonna be pleased with how smooth it really is. Okay, so I have a question that we haven't talked about. If that's okay, or do you wanna wait for those for later? Um, go ahead, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so two questions actually. First question is, I've already paid for my um, my kit. How do I go about like? Because I watched the video on you know the selecting of the items that you want, but how do I go about ordering them, and where do I go to order them? You should have received an email that says "Welcome to Park Lane," and then there's a hot link um, that you click, and it's almost like shopping with a five hundred dollar gift card. Okay, I my email's insane, so I'll have to definitely search for that. Okay. And then, and then the other question is on my page, I wanna say I don't know if it was Sunday or Monday. Um, Lisa came over here to help me set some things up on it. And so she had me put something on about um, joining me for my launch and all that kind of stuff, right? And so you know how it does the whole thing, it's under review. And then eventually it'll, they review it and says, it's okay, well, this one's not coming out of, this listing is in review. Do you know anything about that? Is it just the way it's worded that it needs to be changed? Yes. Okay. 
a Facebook post that is never coming out of review. So if you get, if you do a Facebook post that says this is under review. Yeah, it's been like that for over 24 hours. So yeah, I just need to be like that for 24 years. So hit delete. Okay. Um, and a lot of times it's either there's too many like dollar signs and like Facebook doesn't want to see you selling from your personal page. So they are very strict about all of that stuff. That's what's good about having a business page separate and then posting as that. Well, and that is, it's on my, um, my Park Lane page, not on my personal page. But you are posting from okay. your personal page in your VIP group. So we have some materials that show gotcha. you how to post as your, like, so on Facebook, I am Michelle Walsh Zito. Yes. But then I have a business page called Park Lane Jewelry with Michelle Zito. If I'm going to post in my VIP group about this item is on sale, I post that from my business page as to <laughs> not violate Facebook's rules about selling from your personal page. I really thought that's what I did. Because I didn't put it on my regular page. I just put it on the Park Lane page. That's but incredibly I'm, clever. Pardon me? That was incredibly clever, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, it's just, that's just the rules. And it's fairly new rules. So we're all futzing around with it right now. I really, I don't, I didn't do it on my regular page though. So I'll have to just check the wording and see because I put something else on that same page and that one shows. But sometimes it's also like, I've even had issues with ones that say things like, like I'm doing a raffle and then it'll say it violated the gambling rules. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing a raffle for wear it Wednesday. And I'm now violating gambling rules. Like shame on you. Facebook is the problem with Facebook is that everything is done via like bots, like computers are the ones looking for this stuff there's no human being making any rational decisions <laughs> so um okay. you know i'll check the wording and see if that helps yeah sometimes that's that and then sometimes you delete it and you do it again and it and it goes through i, I did i try i did try that and i try to change like the opening sentence that i had and it's still yeah, but I will, I'll definitely I'll read through the whole thing and see if there's a way to change it and go from there. Good idea. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Well, have a great rest of the evening. I look forward to seeing you on all kinds of future things. Every Tuesday at noon Eastern, for example, is the Lunch and Learn. Those are live streamed at the time of the class, but then also, so, you know, if that's a, not a time that you're available live, you can always just watch the replay on Tuesday nights. Um, there's all kinds of extra things that you will find super helpful, as well as, like I said, start in the guides section of Shine On, of Team Shine On, and um, the very first one is only for the new people, so you'll find that super helpful. But welcome to the team, and I look forward to seeing you so much more. Have a great night, everybody.